Welcome to the main event of Turmoil 239, the finals of the Queen of OCW tournament. I'm joined by my broadcast partner, Angus. Angus, how's it going today? I'm doing great. This is a very important match for both women on the line. It's a chance at Valkyrie's OCW Women's Championship. Both women who have a point to prove here. And right now we're seeing a woman that has experience in the main event scene, has experience being a champion, Blaine former OCW Women's Champion, was actually defeated by Valkyrie at Resolution to lose that title. We'll see if she can gain a level of retribution and face Valkyrie again at the 15th anniversary pay-per-view. Yeah, so far she's been steamrolling through the bracket. I mean, the women's competition is tough competition here in OCW, but Blaine has been tearing through them like wet toilet paper. So Lotus Flojo, her opponent's in for a tough match tonight. Indeed. Lotus Flojo, no stranger to being an underdog, is going to definitely come into this match being an underdog, but she's been proving herself all throughout this tournament. She was pretty much down and out on that match against Heather Angelo, but made a tremendous comeback. We'll see if she can share Absolutely. that same resiliency tonight. Absolutely. I mean, it was, it was a crazy match. Nobody thought she'd win, but she did in quite convincing fashion by the end, too. It goes to show you can't ever take a thing at face value. You gotta evaluate the thing on the whole, and Lotus Flojo is a master of making comebacks. Will we see that same thing tonight, or will maybe Lotus Flojo start good, uh, get a good start? Absolutely. I think she has the most to win and lose in this match, basically. She has the most, um, what's the word? She has the most fire coming into this fight because of how she wants to prove to the OCW universe what a competitor she is. I mean, she's been talking for weeks now. All the talks, she's been talking to the fans, she's been talking to the interviewers. She wants to prove that she's not a choker, you know? She's not here to quit. She's here to make a statement. She's here to fight for all her weeaboos and all her underdog friends. That Lotus Flojo is here to stay now and forever. And this is definitely the opponent to approve it against. Uh, former OCW Women's Champion and the bell sounds. Here we go. Collar and elbow tie up right from the get-go. Lotus Flojo takes a... Uh, ooh, and a big shoulder block takes the first advantage. And there's really no better way to prove yourself and to prove, you know, your intention of being a great competitor here in OCW than by fighting one of the monsters of the women's division, Ashley Blaine. Lotus Flojo getting a good start. Here it comes. Big Lion Salt! The cover hooks the outside leg. One and just a one count to get going here in this matchup. A yeah, very quick and impressive start for Flojo. She's looking good at the beginning. She's using that quickness, using that tenacity, just like she needs to. Oh, and a big knee to the midsection. Turns Blaine over. And as you mentioned, Lotus Flojo, you know, in that match with Heather Angelo, she was kind of down and out, but came back. We'll see. But this time, she's looking to get the start quickly over Blaine. It's always good to get the beginning advantage, but a couple of quick right hands like that will take you down quick. Of course. Blaine Harsh looked into the corner. Some big strikes. Those strikes are dangerous, but Lotus Flojo fires back with one of her own. But Blaine shuts that down quickly. Yeah, I mean, I don't think I need to even mention the size and strength advantage that Blaine has here. I think Lotus Flojo's advantage oh. is going to be all of oh, the high-risk Oh, roll-up. Sorry to interrupt you, Angus, but there's a roll-up here and almost a two-count. And her tenacity, as we just saw there. Of course. Oh, and a big clothesline takes Flojo off her feet. As you're mentioning, the size and strength advantage of... Blaine, who delivers a massive dragon suplex, knocking Flojo on her head. Yeah, there's, there's an absolute fact here that Blaine is capable of throwing almost anybody Ooh. in the division around, and Flojo is no exception. Of course, and a big fish hook clothesline, and now for some elbow strikes to the head. Vicious as always. Lotus Flojo looks to be kind of getting down here in this match as Blaine takes the advantage in the late going, and only a one count there. Well, it's really easy to lose your momentum against someone with the strength and power advantage of Blaine. I mean, just one good suplex like that can knock the win entirely out of you. So Flojo really has to keep on her game plan to stay on her feet in this match. Indeed, as Flojo delivers some elbows to the midsection to get out of that, but deliver he eats a single leg drop kick. Throwing her to the ground as Blaine picks her up and delivers a big vertical suplex. See what I'm talking about? Flojo's getting her momentum cut off. Indeed, Blaine picks her up to her feet. Looking to deliver some more damage, looking to deliver some more offense in the early going here when Blaine misses a big kick and needs a knee for it. Yeah, right in the nose. That was a tactical mistake right there. Blaine rolls to the outside to take a breather and Lotus Flojo is not going to let her have that. Delivers another big Doesn't even take a second. Exactly what she needs to do is take that advantage and force it. And she sees she's feeling it now as she taunts the crowd. 
As we talked about, Blaine has the size and strength advantage, but Flojo has the speed. Flojo has the technical ability as he hooks the outside leg and going in for a cover and only gets a one count. And perhaps most importantly, she does have the support of the fans. You know that can carry you to a victory. If nothing else works, if you're stuck in a submission, if you're getting ground down to the mat, people are cheering for you. It can really get you to give up and oh, get that and last I'm, ounce of fight out of you. Sorry to interrupt you again, Angus, but the second Dragon Suplex of the night dumping Flojo on her head. And as you're mentioning, that fan reaction, it doesn't seem like it's much, but when you know that people are behind you, when you know that the fan reaction, the fans are behind you looking for you to win this match, it really means a lot. Absolutely. I mean, she's got a fan support, but of course, if the match keeps going the way it is right now, she's going to need some neck support after the match. Two brutal dragon suplexes and a clothesline sensor to the outside, crashing and tumbling as Blaine is out. Dumped over the top rope. Not a care in the world. Nope. Blaine's going to try and follow her to the outside, try to follow up on this offense. Oh, two big kicks to the head. And what is this? Oh, my God. I think we just saw Ashley Blaine doesn't go high the ropes very often. Ashley Blaine, a big swing and a miss. Face full of mat. All right, there we set Flojo taking the advantage and following up some kicks to the nose of her own. Of course. This could be the uh, chance Flojo needs to take back the momentum of the match. Flojo throws Blaine back in the ring. Looking to take back control of this matchup after Ashley Blaine with a huge swing and a miss, and Blaine just follows up with two small jabs. Oh, look at this. Exploder suplex overhead. Yeah, those jabs look so small to me. Indeed, they can they they mount. You know, they might be they might be short jabs at the moment, but they, everything adds up. The exploder suplexes, the dragon suplexes, and the overhead oh. German! Yeah, I mean, we talk about strength, and we talk about technicality. That was a pretty technical sequence there. It's worth mentioning, Blaine is no shabby wrestler herself. It's just what she does, she does exceptionally well. Suplexes, power bombs, throwing people around. She knows every move in the dictionary of suplexes. Using that size and strength advantage to her advantage, I might say with a big spine buster, just kind of throwing her opponent around. And as I was saying, those moves add up. Just getting knocked on your head, thrown on your back. And Blaine's gonna... Absolutely, I give that spine buster a double A-plus oh. rating. A uh, big shot to the face, and here comes a little bit of back and forth between the two competitors. It's not going to chance oh! Flojo needed, not if she gets dumped into the ropes like that, though. Brutal stun gun, and Blaine going up to the second rope. Oh, we saw what happened when she tried to go high earlier. Maybe this will go a lot better. This time she's looking at her. Oh, and, oh nope. Flojo ducks the kick, and throws Ashley Blaine to the mat! The bigger you are, the harder you fall. Indeed, oh, Blaine sweeps the leg out. Time to follow up. Trying to get the advantage. Once again, looks like Flojo is going to have an advantage, but then just as quickly, Blaine cuts her right off. It seems to be the story oh. of the match so far. And another demonstration of the strength as she bridges and hooks the leg, but only a two count, narrowly, for Ashley Blaine. Definitely, match isn't quite over yet, but Flojo doesn't get back on her feet, doesn't get her win back. It could be. So think about this for a second. What does a what does a win here mean for for Ashley Blaine? What what would that do for her career to put herself back in that spotlight, to put herself back in title contention? Well, I don't think she needs to win the tournament to put herself in title connect contention. Oh my seen, god! But she relishes any chance to beat up Valkyrie, as we've heard her speak about. She even when Valkyrie had the support of the fans behind her, she found her distasteful and disrespectful. She thought she wasn't really a real competitor, took it seriously enough. She basically wanted to prove that wrestling as a sport didn't need, how did she say it, sort of, um, picky superstars. I'm sorry to cut you off here, Angus, but I don't like know if Valkyrie. you just saw what happened there, but Ben just swung fucking Flojo around like a sack of potatoes. I don't think you can say that word on TV. I don't think I can either. That's right, you better not mention potatoes with the Irishman around. Basically, Blaine doesn't like Valkyrie. She thinks she's a diva. That's the word I was looking for. And she wants another chance to beat the tart of her and maybe redeem herself from that title loss. Of course. And Flojo, as we've mentioned before, is kind of on a comeback. You know, she's, put, she's demonstrated her resiliency in this tournament, demonstrated that she's getting better and better by the moment. What does a win mean for Lotus Flojo in this instance? I think it does mean more for her than for Blaine, because Blaine's a former champion. She's already a proven competitor. Whoa, whoa, whoa. She, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Whoa, whoa, what is this? I think we just saw a, a, a Boston Crab. Oh my God! Oh jeez! Talk about the size and strength advantage. Lotus as Flojo is not going to prove herself to be a pushover as she swings Blaine around the ring. Jeez. I think she's going Super Saiyan. <laughs> and she hooks the outside leg, smartly going for a cover after that big swing, and oh, and Ashley Blaine narrowly gets the shoulder up. 
as we see, I think Flojo is the most motivated to win here because it would definitely move up her stock at the rankings. She's never been a women's champion. She's had title shots, but she's never won one. So for her, winning this tournament would be the ultimate way of saying, you know, I'm here now. I'm in the top ranks of OCW. Flame grabs a handful of hair and throws Flojo to the ropes as she gets dumped to the outside unceremoniously. She took a little bit too long there thinking about what she was going to do and she paid for it as a spinning plancha by Flojo to the outside takes Flame down again. Absolutely. I mean, those moves of talk about knocking the wind out of you. That stuff will knock you right on your ass. It'll knock you down hard. I mean, that was quite the impact. She's already thinking going up for more offense. Blaine's in serious trouble now. Blaine needs a face full of rain posts. The referee is counting right now. Flojo's going to get back in the rain. But it looks like she might. Uh, she's licking about it. Oh, she's going to go back outside and break the count. She doesn't want to win by count out, Angus. Absolutely. I mean, we know she wants to. She has something to prove. She doesn't think a count out will quite prove it. So she makes it maybe tactically unwise decision, but something that I support in the interest of a fair fight. Of course, a countout could win for the Queen of OCW tournament, but that's exactly not how Flojo Flojo wants to win this match. She wants to prove something as Blaine throws her off the ropes, ducks the clothesline. And the oh, rebound clothesline is coming. Big clothesline takes Flojo off her feet, spinning and turning unceremoniously down to the match. Blaine hooks the leg. One, two, and Flojo narrowly gets the shoulder up. Somehow, 2.5 count, Lotus Flojo kicks out. Blaine's wondering what she's going to do to keep this woman down now. And Blaine, Blaine putting some thought into it. She needs to keep on her. And all this thinking, and oh, wait, 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 what is she doing? Looks like she's frustrated. She's, she's coming over the table commentary, apart, guys. Hey, what's going on here? Hey, whoa, whoa. Hey, listen, it might be plywood, but it's expensive. We can't afford that. And those are my notes. Oh, oh Jesus. Oh, and Blaine clips her heels on the table after the scoop slam by Flojo. Brings her back up to her feet. Oh, please don't, please don't. <laughs> Once again, everyone wants to target that table. They want their commentary spot. Blaine's head smashes off the announce our, our table here. And goes, oh, and she's got a head of concrete, left a little hole in there. Blow's <laughs> just gonna get back in the ring for a count of seven. Oh, she's gonna get right back out and break the count again. Once again, though, Flojo can continue to pour on that aggression. All this outside move. So far, after she's managed to kick out, it's been all Flojo and no Blaine. It's like Blaine's frustrated and she can't really mount an offense, and Flojo's just taking advantage of the momentum. And that's exactly what Flojo needs be to do to win this match. Blaine is no pushover competitor as Blaine kicks out of one. And it looks like Lotus Flojo might be getting a little bit frustrated now. Absolutely. I mean, who wouldn't be? And this match has gone so long and there's been so many moves thrown around, it's going to take you to wonder what's it going to take to take one of these women down. I mean, both of them are wondering what they have to do at this point in time. Indeed. So it's really going to come down to who takes the oh advantage my God. the Lotus Flower the Bomb. Lotus Flower Bomb, this could do it. Lotus Flojo looking to be queen of OCW and Blake kicks out. Once again, I can see the future as I talk about taking the advantage. She's hitting her finishing maneuver, but it still wasn't enough. So once again, it's going to come down to who's going to take that final chance, that opportunity. It could come anywhere, anytime, man. It is a war of attrition. One person needs to make one mistake as Blaine shows off that raw power with a power slam from the military press. Honestly, I thought she was just going to toss her out of the ring. Well, that would have been absolutely devastating as Blaine just drags her to the center of the ring and goes for a cover, looking to put this match away. One, oh my god, not even a two count. Note the veteran ring awareness of Ashley Blaine ensure no rope breaks take place. Of course, a lot of rope breaks happen here on OCW and you don't want to be caught on that end, especially when this opportunity is so large. Oh! And Blaine gets hung up on the top rope. And Lotus Flojo. Just like Flojo did before. It seems to be a match of echoes. Each woman's hit their finisher, each woman's hit a giant swing, each of them have dumped each other on the ropes. It's honestly seeming like a match of equals, which is something I never thought I'd say. That's absolutely amazing. It's Flojo going for a surfboard stretch late in the matchup, trying to wear Blaine down, possibly put this match away. Ooh, a little wrenching on it. It might be a mistake. Trying to put on a submission like that, he hits him over the powerful arms of Blaine. Ooh. Blaine wriggles out of it with an elbow to the stomach. Both women thinking about what they're going to do, and Flojo tries to throw a kick. It's caught by Blaine. Blaine turns around and... Oh, oh. my God. Just turns Flojo's internal organs into paste. That really shows you how late we are in this matchup as Flojo crumples under that shot to the midsection. Absolutely, I wouldn't want to feel one of those myself. Hopefully they don't come near the commentary booth again. I, I really hope they don't. 
Blaine rolls her up to her feet, but Flojo pushes her off. And another clothesline to the outside. That makes, I think, number three of the night. Oh, look Flojo! Look at the heart and spirit of Flojo. Flojo! Oh my god, and a fist drop to Blaine's head! She's not giving up for nothing. When she gets up, she's just as fierce as she was at the beginning of the match. It's incredible. It's absolutely incredible. The cardio, the stamina, the will to win. She's been working out more than she's been watching her anime tapes recently, obviously. Drags Blaine to the, to the kind of the center of the ring. A little close to the ropes there. Trying to pull her away. She goes for the cover and sweeps away the hands so she can't grab the ropes in a two count. It was close, but no cigar. I don't know what it's going to take to end this match. I think Flojo might be looking for that uh, flow tree motion elbow. Of course, it'll, it's going to take a big move to end this matchup. And an axe kick sends Blaine tumbling down to the canvas. Maybe Lotus Flojo is going to try and put this match to, to bed once and for all. What is this? Okay, cool. Interesting. You're turning into something other than a wrestling match. Oh my oh, god! Oh my. Look at this! Absolute determination. The will to win, using your body, putting your body on the line, as Flojo hooks the outside leg, and once again, another one count. I mean, it's well known in Flojo's career, she's had a little bit of a disregard for her own safety, as you've seen with the many ladder and table moments she's had in the history of the company, but that's a whole other level of just clashing someone's skull to skull. That's a really easy way to give both people concussions. Absolutely. Flojo with the fireman's carry plane. Oh, wriggles out in the reverse DDT. Oh, and Blaine's calling for the end. Can she finally put this match to rest? Oh, here it goes. Oh, nope, just an arm wrench there. Trying to fake her out. Oh, and a bell Absolutely. swing. Both women smart enough to try to uh, fool each oh, other. Oh, that might be it. The match. Roll up, Blaine. Oh, only a one count. A lot of roll-up attempts, only by Flojo, not by Blaine, which is something you, that you're interested to see because Flojo doesn't have the size or weight of Blaine, so she can't act as much leverage in a roll-up like that. Really, she can't put as much leverage on the roll-up like that, but it comes at a surprise moment. Sometimes you're not thinking about it, mm -hmm. sometimes you're too caught in the heat of battle, and something like that, something as simple as a roll-up can throw you off your game and put you away. As we saw, roll-up beat Drago Caesar in one of the shock moments of the season. Oh, push away. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Blaine, Blaine looking a little hurt there. Referee's going to check on him. Hey, smart man, the referee. It's been a long, it's been a grueling match. We don't want any injuries as much as it hurt to have this match stop. It's worse to have an injury, and Blaine knows that. She's injured at the beginning of the season, or at least she claimed to be. The referee thinks Blaine is still ready to go, and Lotus Flojo might be trying to put this match to bed with a splitting, spinning sub. Reverse Phoenix Splash? I don't know, man. Oh, it's a big fancy move, but Blaine might have been playing possum. She looked like she was ready for it. Oh, and Blaine just demonstrates the strength and throws Flojo across the ring overhead. And this, this might finally be it, folks. Yeah, from one set of ropes to the other. Oh, here it comes. This could spell the end for Lotus Flojo. Bridging package power bomb. Blaine Bob coming. There it is. Shoulders are pinned Your to Christmas the mat. present is shipped. Beautiful bridge. And that'll do it. Ashley Blaine is your queen of OCW. After an incredible match from both women. Absolutely grueling match from both women. My hat's off to both of them as oh look at this. This is a little uncharacteristic. I would not expect Blaine to offer a handshake, but I'm happy to see it. Trying times. Both women have respect.